JP here. On behalf of Four C Scuba Centers, I want to welcome you to Cooking the Local Catch. We're here at Oceans 234 in Deerfield Beach, where the chefs are going to teach us how to take our catch from the ocean to the table. Chef Joe, what have you got for us today? Hey, Chiefy, how you doing? Good, good. Today we have a nice hogfish piccata we're going to do. Oh, hogfish piccata. And you know, hogfish is a great fish. We see, a, uh, see them on the reef. They're very, very colorful. But the best part is, they're a great tasting fish. Pure white filet, no bloodline. They're a very mild texture, not, not too soft. So it's got a, some meat to it, but not too hard. But it's kind of funny, people will actually call this hog snapper, and it's not a snapper. It's actually a member of the Rasp family, that's with a W, Rasp mm -hmm. family. But what a great tasting fish, I'm going to tell you. Um, you'll see them down there, they're colorful, but out in the sand, they blend in. They're almost white, so they'll change their colors. And then of course they got their big, they, they got their name because of the big snoot, that hog fish get the big, big, big snoot. And that's when they become big, they become males, they get a more of a di distinct hog-like snoot to them, all right? So what are we gonna do here? How are we gonna get this going? All right, first thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of oil in our heated pan. We okay. want the pan to be not super hot, maybe about medium-high heat. All righty. You cover it all, right? Give it a quick second to let the oil heat up. So, and you filleted this fish, you put a little salt and pepper on it. That's, That's it. That's it, yeah. Okay, both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now the oil's heated up a little bit. We're just gonna saute these nice fillets a little bit. And you'll obviously do both sides. Mm -hmm. And you, you're looking for a little crunchiness to it? Not much. No, okay. Just a touch, you can get a little bit of texture on it if you want. Okay. And we don't want to cook it too much here in the pan, Chiefy, because we're going to set it aside and we're going to finish it oh, in the oven. Oh, good point. Yeah, yeah. So then this kind of creates the base for your piccata ingredients. Oh, yeah. Right? So while we're waiting, what do we've got? What are we going to be throwing in here? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of shallot and garlic, okay. crushed red pepper, and thyme to the pan. Okay, Cook got that it. down just for a quick minute. And then we're gonna deglaze it with lemon juice and white wine. Lemon juice and white wine. Yeah. But this isn't the part where I start to drink the wine. You know, I mean, that's no, later. Not yet, that's later. Me. Okay. All right. And and I notice you have some chives there. Chives. Uh, it's actually a chopped parsley. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, we got angel hair pasta. You're just gonna heat that up. Yeah, just dunk it in the water to yeah. reheat it. It's already cooked off. Gonna set my fillets here. Oh, nice. Yeah, you haven't really crunched it up. You just really um, got a little bit of opaque, right? Mm-hmm. So got that white to it. All right. Now we're gonna add our garlic shallot. A little touch of crushed red pepper. Not too much. And fresh thyme. And we'll let that cook for a quick minute. And you're already using that oil that the fish mm -hmm. was, was cooked in. Got it. Now we'll go with the white wine and the lemon. Ooh. We'll add a little touch of salt and pepper to the pan. Now we'll drop in the capers. Whenever you cook, I, with, I can smell the uh, oh, yeah. flavors coming out of this. This is great. Whenever you cook with wine, you want to reduce the alcohol out of it, or else it's going to taste too strong of alcohol. Oh, okay. And we didn't put too much, so we're almost there. Now I'm going to add my butter. This is basically going to be the base for our sauce. Now we're gonna drop the pasta in the water just to heat it up. So 
throw a little shot of parsley in there. I love how this all comes together in one pan. The pasta's in there, everything's just all mixed in together. Simple, quick, um, but I see you've got more to do here on the fish. Wh Not what's much next? more, Chief. Okay. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is pop the fish back in the oven at 350 for about two, three minutes just to finish cooking it and then we're gonna go ahead and plate it. Yeah, I noticed it's not fully cooked, but you will cook it in the oven and then we plate it. Mm -hmm. This becomes the base, that goes on the top and we get to go eat it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can't wait. All right, Chef Joe, let's, let's dive into this hogfish piccata, all That's right? Good. I love it, I love it. Mmm. There's like a smoothness to this. Oh, what what did you do? I finished it up with a little bit of butter. Kind of cream it out a little bit. Tight. Yeah, but mmm. Oh, I got the little spice in there too. What do you got? What do you got in there? Right? Some, Come on. A little crushed red pepper flake. Yeah, and these capers. Yeah. Oh, this is just a really really great dish. You know the. The, the texture of the hawkfish is delicious. I mean, it, it's outstanding. Pure white filet. Yeah, I didn't want to overpower the nice natural flavor of the fish. Uh, just a little touch of salt and pepper. Oh, it comes out. It comes out totally. And I love it being on a bed of the angel here pasta. Can I get another bite of this? Oh. Whoa. I'm going to tell you, Chef Joe, you hit this one out of the park. Outstanding. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. As always, on behalf of Four Seas Scuba Centers, thanks for joining us here at Cooking the Local Catch. And don't forget to like and subscribe because we will hook you up with more great recipes.